What a what a world is your homeboy wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you this time around I'm gonna talk about how you can get your music onto TikTok and then share it stay tuned All right, before I jump into how you can get your music on TikTok, uh, I want to say this video is sponsored by nvideo.io. nvideo.io is an online video editor and it allows you to edit your videos in real time on the web. So think about it like this, Premiere Pro, iMovie are all software that you can use in order to edit videos, but sometimes people don't have access to that type of software. Um, iMovie is on Mac devices and those are expensive. Premiere Pro is very expensive as well. It's about $600 a year. So nvideo.io allows you to edit videos in multiple different formats with a lot of different templates in order for you to create videos on the fly. And they have plans that start at $10 a month and that allows you to not break the budget on video editing. Just for an example, in this video, we're going to be working with um, sort of Instagram story type style videos and they have countless templates available for you to use on nvideo.io. For all of my viewers, they have allowed me to give you all 25% off any subscription that they have. And currently uh, that subscription of $10 a month will drop down to about $7 a month with that 25% off. So in order to take advantage of that, go to nvideo.io and type in promo code March 25, all put together, March 25. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so if you didn't know right now, TikTok is one of the biggest platforms out there for social media. And TikTok is super important when you're a musician and you wanna be heard um, by an audience that um, may give you some more exposure. So in order to get your music to TikTok, let's answer that question first. So we can get your music to TikTok by using the three distributors that I know the best, DistroKid, TuneCore, and CD Baby. I'm not sure which distributors actually um, offer TikTok um, as far as like the other distributors like Symphonic and United Masters. I'm not sure which other distributors actually offer that. So if you do know, put that down in the comment section. I know for sure DistroKid, CD Baby, and TuneCore offer those services to get your music to TikTok. But once you have your music distributed to TikTok, some are faster than others, you should be ready to share your music to other people. Okay, so now that you know that your music is on TikTok, you wanna open up the app. Once you open up the app, you're gonna see the home screen. Um, and underneath the home screen, there's usually gonna be a video playing or something like that. Right now it's Will Smith, which is makes sense for what he's doing. At the bottom, you're gonna tap on the plus sign. And once you tap on the plus sign, uh, you wanna turn your camera around and use the options on the right hand side in order to um, maybe show your face or record something that's interesting for people to look at. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna tap on sounds. And sounds is at the very top of your screen. Once you tap on sounds, then you wanna go ahead and search for your artist name. So I'm gonna type in wordplay TJ. And here's a list of my catalog. For this example, I think I'm gonna use, uh, I don't really give a F. Uh, I think that song hasn't been used in a TikTok before. Once I select the song, I also wanna favorite it by hitting the little flag on the side. Now that my song is in my TikTok, um, I'm gonna most likely turn my volume up so I can hear the music and also, I'm going to flip my camera around so I can participate in what the song is doing. In most cases, people lip sync to the music. Okay, so now that my camera is turned around, um, I wanna look at the speed option. And if I turn the speed option up, to two times, if I turn the speed option up to two times, um, it'll allow me to record uh, my video in twice the speed, but keep the audio the same. 
while I'm recording, the audio is gonna sound really, really slow and I'm gonna have to keep up with that. So I listen to it first to see what I need to lip sync. So once I'm ready, I go ahead and start recording that segment. Once I'm happy with what I recorded, I can add filters or adjust different clips to make things uh, a little bit more succinct. Then when I'm done, I can add text or stickers in order to kind of promote what I'm doing a little bit more. On the next screen, I'm gonna write a caption and add some hashtags as well. So for this video, I wanna make sure that everybody can view this. So I'm gonna make it public. I'm gonna allow comments. I'm gonna allow duet and react. And so people can actually use my song in their own videos. And then I'm gonna save it to my device so I can share it on other social media platforms. Now you can post this at the same time, but I don't like to post it that way. Um, I like to save it and then post it later to other social media platforms. That way it's a little bit more organic and natural. So I'm gonna uncheck Snapchat and then I'm gonna post it. It's gonna take a little bit of time to upload, um, but that's pretty much it. All right, so if you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up because that will help the video rank up in YouTube's algorithm and it will show to more people that way this video will get the love that it deserves. I appreciate you watching and if this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos in the future. Until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace.